Can you hear me now? Yes. <laughs> All right, we'll try this again. Hi, everyone, and happy Pride. I am so honored to be here and to share this space with all of you. And I just want to say how proud I am of all of you for the important work that you do for our world. Nobody can fight for equality if their most basic needs aren't being met. So I want to just take a minute and ask you all to please give yourselves a round of applause. And I hope that you celebrate the incredible work that you do year round. So give yourselves a round of applause right now. <laughs> For me, pride, especially as an artist, is all about self-expression. And I do not take that for granted because I grew up in a don't say gay world. I was born in 1980. I grew up in a small town in the Midwest. And in some ways, there were aspects of that that were scarier than anything you might see on Stranger Things, namely that I did not have any connection to queer people. I didn't know that they existed. And so I felt very alone. I was in my, in my mom's closet trying on her heels and pretending that I was Dolly Parton back then. I have a feeling that Golden Gucci and Hibiscus were probably out there somewhere in the world doing something similar at that time, but I didn't know about that. I thought I was the only one like me, and I thought that there was something wrong with me because of that. So art was my salvation. It gave me a way to express myself, and I was very, very grateful when I had the opportunity about a month ago to create a painting for Outright Action International. Art and my queer identity have always been linked. And so I wanted to create a painting that really expressed my feelings about where we are in the world right now and my hopes for the future. I do a lot of mentoring with young artists all over the world uh, through my business, Art Makes Us. And working with young people, it has become very clear to me that there is a lot of work still left to do. There are so many young queer people who do not have the luxury of being able to even tell their families who they are. So the painting that you're about to see is really about that. It's about my hope for them. And it's about what I feel is our job to try and create a better future for the next generation. So you'll see in the painting a, a young child who's sort of walking off into the, into the distance and the road ahead appears a bit treacherous. However, at the end of the road, it leads to a bright and prismatic future because even in our darkest moments, that, which we certainly feel like we're going through right now, we wake up every day and see new rights being taken away, whether it's by the Supreme Court or by various state legislators. We have all, so much work to do, but I believe that hope is essential, and that's what I wanted to instill in this painting, and that's why I'm so proud that it's going to hang in your building, and I hope that it can be an inspiration for all of you in the important work that you do. And I just want to say that I really, really believe that together, we can change the world. Thank you all so much.